What are you having, Lily? Two, two mashed potatoes. Cheesy mashed With potatoes. bacon. We are at Daniel Boone National Forest uh, in the Clifty Wilderness. There's a fly flying in my face. We're going to do a couple nights here. We're going to hike down to the Swift Camp Creek Trail <laughs> and uh, find a place to camp there. And uh, then after a couple nights here, we are going to head up to Indianapolis and uh, do some Fourth of July shenanigans with uh, my buddy Danny. So here we go. Yay! Do you need help adjusting that pack? We're catching up after fixing Faith's pack. It's a pretty trail, isn't it, Faith? This is the trail we came in on. We've only hiked that far in all that time. Pretty neat 
mushroom Jinda pointed out. We just found our campsite. It's pretty awesome. The uh, the way to get to it's pretty cool too. So we're gonna show you that. Yay. Here we go. Here we go. People, people all follow the great mighty dad. I'm a kind dad. Oh. Oh. Yay. GoPro just died. One of the lower straps, like maybe towards the middle. Right here? Sure. It's a good start. You can always change it. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I did not know about that. <laughs> what is on the back of her dress? I gotta go poop. Okay. Dad. Can I take my shoes off? And my socks? I told you to stay out of the water. Go to the other side. Is this high enough? You yeah. want to sit in it and see? Yeah. Okay, you can't swing because there's a tree behind you. I know. But the height's good? Mm-hmm. Okay, this will be your head side because it's a little bit lower. Okay. Okay. <coughs> That's good. You're good. Dad, I accidentally fell when I was trying to I want you guys to stay away from the creek for now. Well, I know it's long. He's asked that a hundred times. I told you this one right here. I pointed to it. What's going on? Mountain So the challenge of backpacking with nine people is the sheer amount of space that you take up. So I'm gonna walk you through our campsite and you can see uh, what we're calling for the next couple of days, the compound. Let me turn you around. So you enter our campsite sort of by this offshoot trail between the rocks and then you hit this first flat spot um, and this is a new tarp setup that the older kids have set up uh, Lily Noah and Faith all camp out in here you can see their set up um, and Lily is an almost 13 year old girl, so I didn't know how she would react to tarp camping, but she really, really loves it. So you can come this way. You see the hammock in front of me, that's James. He's our middleist. And he's set up in there. I don't think he's in there right now. We are up this little uh, hill. Nate and I are up there in our little Cuban fiber tent. And back over here, this is Nicole. She's a hammock camper. And then back around here, this is Liam. Liam, where are you going to sleep tonight? In your tent. Are you going to share it with Hopi? Do you have your bedding in there yet? No, you don't have anything in there. Are you supposed to be putting your sleeping bag in there? Yes. Yes. Are you going to do that? Maybe. Maybe. And then over here, whoop, kick the tent string, is our fire pit. 
We have children coming from every direction. And our beautiful little stream all along the way. Oh. Hi. <coughs> if there's a bunch of rocks, so what do you mean? Uh, please get that rock by Matt touching the wall. Go. Yeah. All right, by falling, game over to me. All right, so now I have to find my way back without touching no rocks. Is that going to be hard? Just jump. Don't burn your hair. Dad, how'd you do that? Lots of hair. Blow gently Take and carefully. Nice Don't make so much his head. Try not to. Burn yourself. Yep. Okay. Um, can I sit this? All right, it's about nine o'clock in the morning, and uh, those four are the only ones up. They're eating s'mores pop tarts and uh, uh, drinking the iced tea they have left over from last night. And iced tea. Yep, an iced tea. We had a pretty good night. Um, this is a beautiful sight. Um, it's so secluded. Um, I'll go back and show you how we get to it because um, it's pretty incredible. But uh, through that cave right behind me. Um, there is like a, um, a beach and a play area for the kids um, and then uh, I believe Chanda showed you how long the uh, site is and how, how big it is but we are surrounded by mountain laurel um, and giant magnolia trees um, and um, some other kinds of trees that I don't really recognize <laughs> um, but it is just an absolutely gorgeous site um, we're gonna stay here for two nights um, we're going to stay here again tonight. We're not going to move. Um, but what we are going to do is make some improvements to the site. We're going to do a little bushcrafting, which I don't normally do at all. But that little bench that they're sitting at is the only seating in this whole site. So we're going to, um, <clears throat> make some improvements to that and make room for more people to sit. But right now, it's time for some coffee. How are you going to start up? With my finger. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably use a stick. No. Dad, can I have a spoon? I think I'm going to come. After we drink our coffee. What are you doing right now? Yeah. I nothing. Uh, I think yeah, that's not true. What are you doing? Nothing. Got a spoon. It's a giant spoon. But it's a spoon. Take it off.
like a big fly. Okay, did you chase it away? So the kids were in the creek by like nine o'clock this morning and they played in the creek until lunchtime. And after lunch, we decided that we're gonna go do some exploring, a little bit more hiking. And so we are back on the Swift Camp Creek Trail, headed south. Um, not sure if we'll make it all the way to the big rock arch that's supposed to be at the end, but uh, we're gonna see how far we get. And, uh, got some snacks in a day pack and uh, we'll stop and have snacks when we get tired, and then we'll hike back. So it should be a fun afternoon. We might have missed it though. I knew where it was. Uh, me too. I'm going back to camp. You know what I mean? There's a chance you've never seen that and that thought it was big enough. I'm going to go back to camp. Hey, hey mom and dad. Yeah. 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 I'm going back to camp. Go. This is where grappling hook would really come in handy. Come on, I need you. There, there. They're all Pikachu. We've hiked a couple miles and we found a good spot to climb down underneath a huge, a huge um, rock shelter. And uh, we're gonna have a snack here and filter some water for anybody who needs more. And take a break. I think you're okay either way. So, you want to pick it up? Really try to. You got it! <laughs> oh, poor guy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <laughs> it's so cute! <laughs> He's coming up here! <laughs> I want to hold it. Uh, is it, is it, is it hurt? 
gentle with it. It's, yeah, it's not a tub. They're kind of fragile, so. Yeah, I thought I smushed it when, because it went under a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my back. <laughs> no. It has to crawl off itself. Okay, I'll get it. Don't it's it. crawling just oh your head. Oh my gosh, it's going to go down your shirt. Don't Maybe you can get it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my Now she's all that this thing, act natural, act natural, act natural. <laughs> so we hiked about five and a half miles, or five miles. Probably. Probably, five or six miles. It was about three hours out and back. Mm -hmm. um, and um, most of the kids are completely ignoring the fact that I'm recording right now. <laughs> Um, and coming and going from the creek right now, getting wet and uh, having fun. They were racing flowers down the creek just a little bit ago, and uh, we decided we're just going to come over here and sit and relax for a few minutes before we start dinner. And uh, we got queso rice tonight, right, for you and me? So, looking forward to that. I'm pretty hungry already. I got mashed potatoes. And Lily has mashed potatoes. All right, so my platypus sprung a leak on our hike today. So I'm going to try and patch it with duct tape, but I'm pretty disappointed about this. This is the second one we've had spring a leak, and uh, I've only done like a handful of trips with these. I might check out the Evernew bottles or something. If somebody has a recommendation of something that's a little more durable than the platypus is, please put that in the comments and let us know. So I really like these, but they're not holding up very well. Do you eat it all? It looks like you got a couple more bites in there. Are you full? Or do you want to try and finish it up? No, you don't want to finish it up? Okay. What are you having, Lily? Cheesy mashed potatoes. Cheesy mashed With potatoes. With bacon. Mm. Hope's face is so... It's well, it's good. Okay, get a wipe and clean up, Hope. Mac and cheese. You can eat some of it. Well, it's 9.15 in the morning. I haven't even had my coffee yet. The kids have all eaten breakfast and started tearing down. You can see Nicole's already got her hammock down. James has already got his stuff packed up. Past where you can see Lily and Noah are pulling down their tarp. And uh, they are in a hurry to get packed up and get on the trail and get to Uncle Danny's house. So uh, we're going to start working on that, I guess. Daddy. All right, so I uh, wanted to record the um, hike into our campsite because it's pretty unreal. I just hiked out of it, um, so I'm a little out of breath. But uh, it's pretty unreal, usually. The hike into your campsite isn't like a magical thing, but this was like, I don't even know what made me say, I wonder if there's a campsite down there, but I did. So I'm going to show you kind of the path I took and how we found it. And uh, we've pretty much torn down camp, so you'll get to see it close to the state we found it in. And uh, here we go. All right, so this is the trail. And we came to here. And I looked over here and thought, I wonder if there's a campsite down there.
And this is what I found. The campsite that goes all the way over there. Pretty incredible. All right, we are back in the car. Everybody made it. It was a good hike. We actually uh, hiked out much faster than we hiked in. Yep. And uh, we are on our way to a gas station to get some cold drinks and fill up our gas tank, and then we're gonna find some lunch. So we rolled into Danny's around seven o'clock last night and uh, uh, he had ordered pizza for us and we got showers and hung out with him and his parents and uh, uh, had dinner and uh, then his parents left and uh, we stayed up until about two o'clock in the morning laughing and having a good time. It's uh, about nine o'clock now. The kids are, some of them, are already up Dragon having breakfast Daisy. and uh, we are going to have a fun day today. So Danny's got some people he's invited over. We are going to um, have a kind of a cookout in the backyard and front yard. And um, then we're going to, once it gets dark, we're going to set off fireworks because in Indiana, you can set off the big ones until late at night. So we're going to have a good time tonight. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. I'm trying to get my food. I hate being on video. That was good. That was good. It didn't take much, did it? No, you can use these. I'm not sure. I don't think I need to. I need to go look at my recipe. I don't remember. For the dressing. 